Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mod Armory. My name is Captain Shack, and today we're looking at mods, of course, for Fallout New Vegas. Now this one's going to have three mods in it. The first one being the first recon helmet, which is a retexture of the Ranger helmet, but it doesn't replace the original. Now he's added these helmets throughout the world. And they're, it's a really cool detail to it. It's got the uh, you know the last thing you never see right in the front. Um, on the side, you've got the, the notches where the sniper has counted his kills. It's a really nice little detail to it. It makes First Recon, um, you know, they, they deserve something different, something that's not just your average Ranger armor, and it's a nice addition. I like it. You can find it over at the uh, Camp McCarran tent where the First Recon camp out. As for the stats on it, eh, not overpowered in the least. As you can see here, it's got a 4 DT, a uh, decent weight. You get a nice sneak bonus and a perfect, that perception bonus, so pretty cool. The second mod we're going to look at is called Gas Mask to the World. Now, this mod is in beta, and he's only finished one of the masks so far. I believe the second one is still in the works, though I did test it, and you'll see that in the video here. Uh, the quality is quite high. They look really cool, especially if you get the Scarfs mod, which I'll link down below. To find the mask once you've installed them, you've got the XM40, which is what I'm wearing now, and that's located at the old nuclear test site. And then you've got the GP5 over at the over in Good Springs. And here's the GP5. So the texture is not quite done yet, but you can see it's coming along and it looks really cool. Now he plans on adding, I think it's like eight or nine more gas masks to the game. <coughs> he says it's going to be in constant beta and always being uh, added to. Stat wise, not bad. DT of one, poison resist, rad resist. So definitely worth a look. I would have loved to have had one when I went into Vault 35, which I just finished in my latest playthrough. Ugh, that vault sucks. And the last mod we're going to look at is the Marksman Rifle. It's been on the front page for a couple of days now. Hey, as I was recording it, I got attacked by some Legion troops who got distracted by some ants, so I'm kind of taking them out as I did the video. So, you know, that's what they get for bugging me while I'm trying to do a video. Uh, the Marksman Rifle, it's pretty cool. It's parts that are already in the game. Um, I think they ended up using it. Uh, it's kind of high up there on the damage, but uh, it takes pretty makes pretty short work of these Legion dudes. Definitely fits the part, fits in with the other rifles in the game, especially using, especially if you're using the retexture pack. I recommend you take a look at it if you're looking for a new high-end rifle. Stat-wise, it's up there with the um, the automatic rifle they added in one of the expansion packs. Uh, 255 DPS with a, uh, a damage of 41 per shot. So it's got a pretty high rate of fire with decent uh, decent damage. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel for more mod-related videos, anything related to modding. So we got trailers and previews. Endorse mods you love, and as always, thanks for watching.